Unless there's an electoral college or legal miracle, it looks like this is Melania Trump's final Christmas as First Lady. During her first Christmas at the White House, Mrs. Trump's critics tweeted out contempt for her Christmas decorations. They said she had a potential penchant for, quote, existential dread. And then in 2018, more disdain, this time about trees lining the East Colonnade of the White House, adorned in Christmas red, a penchant for blood, they said. And this year, The Guardian reported Melania Trump swapped horror for tradition with a lighter approach to Christmas decor. They described her America the Beautiful theme as a break from previous years, which featured blood red trees and bare branches. Folks, this is just more unrelenting hatred against the president and his wife. Believe me, if this had been Michelle Obama or Jill Biden, these same people and members of the media would have called the White House decorations exceptional, avant-garde displays, brilliant breaks from holiday tradition. Now, I say holiday because the media has a hard time calling it Christmas. And on rare occasions when they actually force themselves to utter the word Christmas, it's always in a secular sense, right? For them, it's about Santa, holiday, not Jesus. It may be only sympathy for what they believe is a departing first lady, but the New York Times declared this year's decorations as strikingly normal. Still, one person on Twitter took note of the vases lining the East Colonnade, tweeting, how fitting the urns of COVID Christmas. Folks, I love this year's America the Beautiful theme. Here's a short clip. Take a look and you decide whether or not you agree. Thank you, Mrs. Trump, for bringing beauty, elegance, and faith to the White House. If your departure comes on January 20th, I know millions of Americans will miss you, your charm, grace, and humility. May God be with you, and you always with him. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, Parlor, and Twitter. And until next time, be blessed.